Well, is it legit or is it a scam? Take a look. This is what I'm talking about here. It's a pages long survey that contains dozens of personal questions. One of our viewers received this in the mail and questioned whether it was real, so she sent it on over so I could get the bottom line. The questionnaire says it's from the U.S. Census Bureau, but it's called the American Community Survey. This 28 pages in all that Pam Furbeck of Boston Lake got in the mail. At first it seemed like just a census, you know, like you, your name, your address, your phone number. But as I started looking it over, they started asking me more personal questions. Things like how many minutes did it take to get home from work and how many times has this person been married? It also stated she could be forced to pay a penalty up to $5,000 if she didn't respond and directed her to a website to find out more. Did you fill out the 2010 census form? Yes, I did. So were you surprised to get this in the mail so soon after? Mm-hmm, because it almost looked like a census. Pam didn't know if it was legit or not, so I called the Census Bureau myself. This survey is real. It is real. To get the bottom line. What the census does is count the population. What the American Community Survey does is provide comprehensive information about people and housing and what is actually happening in communities. Basically, it fills in the gaps between the census. And what can that information do for those communities? We know that localities look at the information so they can make the case sometimes to the federal government and grant makers about the needs of their communities based on up-to-date information. The survey is sent to residents at random. The link that's listed is legit. And that $5,000 penalty is possible as well. So if someone chooses not to, they could be forced to pay $5,000? We don't anticipate that that would occur, but that is a law that's on the books. And they tell me it is up to law enforcement as to whether they actually pursue it. Pam tells me she did wind up responding to the survey, but answered only some of the many questions. The Census Bureau tells me that all the information that's collected is very carefully protected.